Hello and uh, welcome to Sliver Surfer 1. A while back I did a modification to a Xeon uh, Smooth Hue 3 to adapt a the Sony A6000 to that um, using counterbalances and the 3D printed uh, brackets and, 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 and whatnot. Um, and I did tests on it and it performed really well. Uh, it didn't uh, affect the motors at all and I still have that Xeon Smooth Q3 uh, um, and yeah this is it right here that I'm looking at um, I did some testing on it and it can't handle with the A6000 it doesn't do a good job with anything really bigger than the the um, 16 millimeter uh, Sony lens um, maybe the night the maybe something a little bit bigger but uh, yeah a lot of people were asking about the kit lens on that one I have something uh, that will work the kit lens but it's not for the a6000 and I'll have that coming up in probably my next one of my next videos um, I'll show you um, but for now we have you this guy here all right you can see it I've pretty much perfected the 3D printing and the counterbalances uh, that are on this. It looks pretty uh, tight and put together. Um, so like I'm gonna put this kit up on um, I'm gonna put this kit up on uh, eBay I think um, or you can get it straight from me if you're, you're you want to do PayPal. Um, just you know email me but uh, yeah I put a lot of time into this um, setup there's a little bit of difference I just finished the, the final 3d print of what I'm gonna put on e on eBay um, but I'll show you I'm gonna hi um, yeah we'll go over here and you can see this right here I don't know if it'll focus in on that but that's my uh, the kit that I have put together for um, this. Oh, sorry, it's probably messy over there for this uh, this setup. So um, you know, I, you can move around and whatnot, and it does a pretty good job of uh, in being smooth. You gotta, it, it takes some getting used to because you gotta rotate it gently before turning. Um, this is in 24p because I this, this is yeah this is in 24 frames per second, and I had to do that. Normally I would do 60 if I'm doing um, gimbal, um, but the reason why is because this is indoors, and I want to. Uh, I'm using LED and fluorescent lights and I set my uh, shutter speed to, to uh, 45 uh, 145th of a second just so that you don't get the flicker from the the uh, artificial lights um, so I can't do 24 I can't do 60p um, with uh, you know because it'd be impossible it's like yeah so um, let me just uh, take a second to show you what this kit has in it. I'm gonna put this. Oh. Oh, yeah, I'll do this. Go through it here first. Um, so here we get closer. All right. So the kit has a bracket here. Okay. Um, that connects behind the Xeon. Okay, this this part here is the Xeon. This is the bracket that connects to the camera. Um, there's a counterbalance that I made. Okay, I'm going to shut this down. You can see it does fall a bit but the reason why I did that is because if it's too balanced 
it seems like it jitters a bit. Okay, so here's the counterbalance that I have um, on it. Um, <clears throat> it comes with basically everything you need. Um, the kit will actually for the A6000 will actually uh, come with one of these. Okay, which will which goes on top here. Okay, and this is so that you can, you know, look through that and basically get frame of what you're taking a uh, image of. Okay, and so that you can actually glue or or tape a mirror onto this part so you can see yourself for for vlogging okay you can you can either put like take apart um, a makeup mirror or like a small mirror or uh, better yet the rear view mirror bubble uh, tape on uh, thingies that you can get for, for car rear view mirrors now uh, it has to be small okay um, but yeah, I'm going to take the camera off here so we get a better look. Here's how it looks without the camera on it. It says A6000, just so that you know not to put any other camera in it. It'll work with A6300 as well. Um, I believe it will. And uh, A6500, I think. But, you know, yeah, and it... Uh, it's all attached with this here. This is a counterbalance. That it's it's a nice hefty counterbalance. You can see here. It's a nice weighted counterbalance. It only can go on this way. Don't put it on this way, or you'll loosen. You'll pull out the the nut that holds it on. These are. Um, held together with the high quality adhesive um, and they're not going to fall apart on you unless you really you know put it this way and force it off okay and here's the bracket this is the second latest generation of the brackets um, I'll show you the the one that I just printed off okay I just pulled this hot off the the printer. Um, this one has a little lip on it instead to keep your camera aligned straight so it doesn't move. I made it with uh, as simple as is possible so that you you can't really make a mistake with it uh, and you don't have to worry about it. It's It comes with all the counterbalances um, that you need. The other one was a bunch of other parts. This doesn't need to be adjusted at all. The thing is you have to go with the 16. Um, you could try some other ones. I don't rec I, you know, you could try other ones um, and fiddle around with it yourself, but that's up to you. So here's the parts that it comes with and I'll show you how to put this together. Okay. So first we're gonna focus close. Yeah. So the first first thing you have to do is you have to modify sorry you have to modify your Z and you have to take off the pieces and I show that in my other video you'll see it in your link and I'll I'll say how to I'll list it as how to modify your Z and a smooth Q okay first part is this. This is the retainer bolt for the counterbalance, and this is a this holds the counterbalance and the uh, bracket in place. So it's a retainer bolt for basically everything that attaches to your camera. So it goes. It's got a little locker in there. You can see that it goes in here. All right. And holds it in place in place and then what you want to do is take this it says a6000 on it all right the reason why it says a6000 on it is because only use the a6000 with this okay 
Um, you can experiment with whatever you want, but that's, you know, your your decision. But this is uh, balanced for the A6000. Okay, and what you do is once this is on there, you place this, this on the back. All right, I'll show you the back. It's the back of this. You put, place this on the back, okay? So you can see it's facing the back, you can see that. And then what you do is you take this, all right, and you place it on the bolt. All right. And then nothing needs to be adjusted. Just screw it on and so that it's tight and it barely moves. All right, so we can see how that, that is. All right. We can see how that is. There's the, there's the uh, ZN Smooth you this is how it should be looking when you're working on it okay and then we take our camera and hold it on there it's not yet ready we put this part okay which is 3d printed as well and we put it in the hole on the bottom and screw it in okay so you can see that now it's uh, all screwed in place and then what you have to do, all you have, the only balancing you have to do is basically balancing left and right. See, it's teetering. You got your little balance arm here that's built into it. Okay, so that's that's pretty balanced now. And like I said, this isn't perfectly balanced front to back, but I find it works better that way. Works smoother. All right, so I'm gonna have that balance left and right. I'm gonna tighten it so it doesn't and tighten this part here so it doesn't move anywhere. All right. So now, yeah, it's on here. And the last part is this. This is the horizontal horizontal uh, axis weight because if you have it like this and you tilt it it leans really heavily toward it leans really heavily towards one way right so you take this and just simply click it on just click it on like that so now I'm gonna press this button hold this button down And there you go. So yeah, if you want to order this for me, I worked hard on it. Um, it takes me close to four hours to print off the parts, um, all in one shot. Um, and it makes it easier for you to do it, and it looks pretty, uh, pretty professional. You can't, uh, you, you know, it's not all goofy looking like this. Before I had this would get uh, you know knocked off and whatnot so yeah if you want to take this off you just slide it down but it holds on pretty pretty good you can you can see that so there you go all right thanks please like and subscribe <laughs>